Hi, my name is Sam and I play the viola. I grew up in Seal Beach, California. My family was very into music. They would drag me to classical concerts and they would drag me to operas when I was a, a young child. And I remember enjoying the overtures more than anything else. So I remember uh, dancing around the house, conducting the Marriage of Figaro Overture by Mozart. I had many other interests. I was on the baseball team. My dad was actually a baseball player at UCLA where he met my mother and my older brother went to UCLA. And so uh, it, was, it was always sort of my goal to not let the family down as the youngest I've known Professor Pogosian for the better part of the last decade, uh, having done my undergrad at UCLA. And so uh, he's always so, so thoughtful, so supportive. Uh, he's shown me especially a lot of attention over the years. Uh, even when I wasn't his student as an undergrad, I studied with Margaret Lisi. And um, he he's just the, the most caring and thoughtful person. He always goes above and beyond. Uh, he wants what's best for the students and it's very clear how much he cares about the program. It's an uh, ancient spiritual melody written by Gregor Narakatsi. It's an interesting task, uh, a challenge to play the role of the drone because the drone is meant to be a supporting, a supporting role, but the drone is unchanging and it sustains indefinitely. It sort of creates a mesmerizing or hypnotic uh, sound. And then that allows the melody to sort of float above and be extremely expressive on top of this velvety carpet of sound. You can hear the deeply religious character of his music in this melody, especially on the cello. I think it's such a perfect instrument to play this tune. The register and the timbre of the cello, it really captures the spirit of the music and the melismatic vocal quality of the melody. The most memorable experiences were just in spending time with the other members of them uh, in rehearsal. Uh, the ones that I do remember the most clearly were some of our outreach performances for the schools. And the kids are so respectful uh, and they're so sweet and they're so appreciative of the music. When we would play a piece that they recognized, one of the Comitas string quartet arrangements. It's so much fun for me uh, to get to participate in sharing the music that we love so much, that, that we are so passionate about with the next generation. I think it's that's really what has driven me to become a teacher. It's why I love teaching. I see it as sort of my chance, my opportunity to do the same, to provide that same spark, that same interest in my students to uh, to want to pursue music, to sort of open their eyes to this world of music that maybe they didn't know about before. Being a teacher on Zoom, you have to fill a lot of time. So you have to just be able to keep talking and talking. I really, really enjoy working with middle school level kids uh, because they're they're at that age where they, they don't know everything yet and they're still young, but they're starting to hit the level, at least in music, where they're really starting to have quite a bit of facility on their instruments. So uh, it's, a, it's a great time in their life uh, to inspire them, hopefully. And um, I will definitely uh, try to steer as many of them towards uh, this great uh, rich heritage of music uh, from Armenia and hopefully some of them are as appreciative of it as I have been.
I would love to explore more of Tigran Mansourian's music. I know that he's a really iconic figure. There are a lot of Komitas arrangements for the string quartet that, that we didn't get to play that we were going to. We really only tackled a handful, maybe four or five of them, but there are, I think, 13 or 14, and I would love to be able to play the rest of them and continue to, to play them uh, throughout my life. Hopefully it's back in person so that you can make live music and have live performances and get to share it uh, with the community. It's a really, a really unique program that UCLA has and it's a great privilege and an honor uh, to have gotten to be a part of the ensemble for a couple of years and um, listen to Professor Bogosian because he knows, he knows what he's talking about and take him seriously, even if he can be sort of a goof sometimes. Vace Sharafian is one of the most important contemporary Armenian composers and a personal friend of mine. He's perhaps, after Tigran Mansurian, the Armenian composer that is performed most frequently outside of Armenia including by such global stars as Yo-Yo Ma and Yuri Bashmet. I would say Sharafian's musical language is especially noticeable for its romanticism, its lyricism, and a very unique color palette. He writes beautifully in a variety of genres, from big orchestra, he has operas, he has ballets and symphonies, to an enormous output in the world of chamber music. He also writes beautifully for the strings, so the work that uh, you will now hear, called Viola, is written in 2008 for a violist, Maxim Novikov. So when I asked Sam Lorenzini, the violist of the VEM Quartet, to choose a viola work, he was really captivated by this particular piece. And I think he did an absolutely incredible job learning it and performing it beautifully. Of course, it helps that he worked with Vace Sharafian directly, sharing with him uh, his uh, preliminary drafts and also getting feedback and comments from Vace Sharafian. I love about the, this piece many things, but also its title which has uh, some wit in it. In general, Vace Sharafian's titles are very colorful. I can mention some of them, such as Adumbrations of the Peacock, The Sun, the Wine, and the Wind of Time. This is the work that Vace wrote for the Yo-Yo Ma and Silk Road project. Or Serenade with a Dandelion, The Morning Scent of the Acacia Song, etc. Uh, this one, is actually abbreviation of three Latin words. Vita, origo, laudis. The life, the origin, the praise. And as composer writes in his notes, this means that the performer must show as much of the instrument possibilities as possible and to praise and glorify the viola. And I'm sure you will see after watching the performance how beautifully Sam Lorenzini does just that. Enjoy it.
Thank <laughs> you. 